darlings and welcome to a new video starting the vlog once again in Mallorca it's actually our final day which I know is a very strange place to start a video but I wanted to get my Mallorca video proper video of our holiday live today which is currently Sunday and I didn't want to miss out on sharing today with you I am fresh faced because I am about to have a facial a 111 skin rose gold facial we're spending our last day here at the beautiful Belmond La Residencia which is a complete opposite side of the island to where we have stayed before so we're just going to spend the day enjoying Dea which is the most beautiful area it was a gorgeous drive this area really is um, I think they said it's actually a world heritage site it's the most gorgeous most gorgeous place the views as we were driving down the hotel is beautiful very much um, one that we are considering staying at next time we come I think potentially we do three nights where we were before and three nights here because they are total opposite ends of the island we're gonna have a little bite to lunch at their cafe Miro <gasps> just realized Alexandra Miro hmm and then I'm heading up to the spa for a rose gold facial I actually don't mind because it's our last day and we are busying about but it's a little bit overcast today but this hotel is absolutely gorgeous there's little um, name plaques everywhere I think you can you know sponsor a name plaque and leave it here if you'd like to this lovely pergola covered in grapevines and if you guys have ever seen well I'll pop a picture on the screen here it's a very iconic um, photo that you probably will have seen on Instagram I actually didn't realize when I first um, saw this restaurant that this is exactly where those photos are taken this is the infamous spot here the steps going down to El Olivo the olive restaurant with the most beautiful views it's not set up at the moment because it is lunchtime and I believe this is just a dinner restaurant the Sun is trying to come back out again but you've got these beautiful views down to the bay across the village of Dea what you don't see on Instagram, however, is the car park <laughs> just here. But yes, it really is spectacular. way is the entrance to the spa down this gorgeous little quiet olive grove olive tree avenue it's such a wonderful old building these big thick stone walls you guys I actually think that that was the best facial I have ever had I've had 50 minute facials before and sometimes it just feels like they take your makeup off they put a few serums on quick massage and you're done honestly it, I feel like I've been here for two hours <laughs> because there were just so many different stages triple cleanse at the beginning um, a light cleanse to get rid of SPFs and things like that a little nibbly exfoliating cleanse and then the most gorgeous I think it was a deep kind of oily product that was so good for massage and then I had my first mask which was um, to kind of prepare the skin and then she used this product here which was one of 111's first products developed to help um, NASA to stop their skin aging so much in space this was the perfect product for a really long and thorough massage she did the most amazing massage techniques you know and they just like move their hands so quickly I feel like my whole face has been sculpted and then of course the rose gold sheet mask which is so hydrating gives the skin such a glow oh my gosh I literally feel like I've had a lift I feel like I've had a facelift oh, and then while the mask was on my camera had died at this point but I had the most incredible scalp massage shoulders she did all my neck and everything I cannot recommend that treatment any more highly and look at this view she opened the windows at the end of the treatment and oh my goodness what a view wow that was the most incredible experience
decided to take a little walk after lunch. I was trying to find the organic vegetable garden. I haven't actually found that yet, but instead I found this lovely little canopy. I guess this might be where they host wedding ceremonies. Lovely stone table. Oh my gosh, this, this is exactly what I would love in my greenhouse. Oh my goodness, can you guys all be my antique scouts and if anyone ever sees any of these on their travels I mean this is just so perfect you've got this really lovely rusted base and a white stone not too thick stone top my gosh perfection I'm going to take a photo of this and send it to every antiques dealer that we know It'd be so lovely instead of my rectangular one for something a little bit different as a potting table and a cup of morning coffee table in the greenhouse so let's take a look at this gorgeous view little candles suspended from the ceiling so if you stay at this hotel it's not a beachfront hotel but you've got the view of the ocean oh it really is such a gorgeous area definitely need to spend more time on this side of the island next time we come and I found it <laughs> let's go and have a look well this is very much a garden with a view look at this my goodness the buildings here are all so stunning it's more of a herb garden they've got some mint some lavender some basil lots of thyme lots of rosemary i guess herbs grow better than anything where there's not much water in the ground they thrive in this kind of soil chamomile sage more rosemary more thyme i think there is another garden somewhere where they might have some veggies this is very much close to the kitchens for the chefs to come and grab the herbs. So I've been left with a couple of the rose gold under eye masks, very much favourites of mine as my little souvenir. I'm going to spend maybe 20 minutes or so just enjoying all the oils soaking into my skin here at the beautiful indoor pool area. And then I think we're going to spend some time just soaking up the last of the rays, exploring the hotel just a tiny bit before we head home this evening. I don't want to go. <laughs> but I've got a feeling it won't be long until we're back. Well, hello again, my darlings. It is currently midnight. We have just got home. It's pitch black outside obviously, but while we have been away, my greenhouse has been built. So it's a bit of a tradition to do garden updates by torchlight. So without further ado, let's go and have a look. This is a job for the world's biggest torch. Oh my God, it's so good. <laughs> They're not on. Oh, there we go. Oh my God, you can see it from here. <gasps> Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it looks amazing. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm actually crying a little bit. Hang on, we have to step back. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's such a nice size, don't you think? Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, it looks so good with a garden in front of it. Yes, we did have to move some of the verbena. We're gonna have to clean the glass. productive start to the morning although I did lie in a little bit longer than intended but traveling always exhausts me so I'm not going to beat myself up too much I can tell today is going to be one of those days where I just wish I had a pause button because there is so much that I want to do so much that I want to get done and it is already 
nearly midday but feeling good having showered done a pilates and then a booty workout in the gym i've done two loads of washing already and i am ready for my morning smoothie i had a call with the nutritionalist nutritionalist <laughs> nutritionist from wild nutrition a couple of weeks ago and she was really explaining the importance of having more protein in my diet especially around the times that I'm doing my workout, whether it's before or straight after my morning workouts. So I have got this to try out this morning for the first time. You guys have probably seen me making my morning smoothie about 10 million times, but this is the Wild Nutrition Vegan Protein with Superfood Blend, a daily vegan protein formula laid with super greens, adaptogen mushrooms to power the body and mind for energy, immunity, focus, and stamina. And this is the berry flavor. I've got a few bits that I'm gonna share with you from Wild Nutrition, but this is my first time actually trying their vegan protein. So I'm gonna be adding this to my morning smoothie. 25 grams, which is around three tablespoons. One, two, three, I'm a little bit obsessed with their branding as well. Everything that this brand does is so beautiful. And then I'm just gonna add the bits that I would normally add to my morning smoothie. So I've got a bowl full of frozen mixed berries, a banana, some oats, which I should have soaked. But seeing as we only got back from holiday last night, We've not had time for that. And I love either tiger nut or hazelnut milk in my morning smoothie. And my guilty pleasure, a dollop of almond butter. got a little bit carried away there. Mm. Delicious. outside enjoying the rest of my smoothie after putting out another load of washing. Smoothie was delicious. Very impressed that this actually didn't alter the flavor of my smoothie. I'm not gonna lie, when I read that there were, what is it, um, adaptogenic mushrooms in here, I thought, gosh, I really don't want my morning smoothie to taste too earthy, but didn't affect the flavor in the slightest. In fact, you can actually add this just to water. Um, I'm guessing it's got a very mild berry flavor by itself. Um, but yes, very impressed. I will be taking this every day. I believe this is a two week supply in here. So, Wild Nutrition, you guys might have seen it on Instagram, you might have heard about it already. I actually first heard about it through Charlie, <laughs> and Charlie always is very, uh, he does a lot of due diligence when it comes to what he consumes, and if it's a brand that I see Charlie using, then I know it's one that I can trust that he's done the research. Wild Nutrition is actually focused on women's nutrition. Obviously men can take their products as well, but they've got a lot of products specifically for women. And I have searched high and low, done my own research, not as much as Charlie, but I have done my own research for a supplement and nutrition brand that I can really get behind. And 
really start getting a proper routine in place where all of the products that I'm taking work together, work specifically for my body and for my needs and Wild Nutrition has everything that I feel that I need. I'm very happy to be working with them on this part of the video and as part of that they have so kindly extended a discount code which is Josie25, 25% off and that is valid until the end of the month. So anything that you like the sound of, that you want to give a try, um, you can use that discount code if you would like to. So a little bit more about Wild Nutrition. You might recognize the packaging. This is one of the products here. What I've actually shown you here is my endo complex. So you may know if you've been around these, these videos for a while that I was diagnosed about a year ago with endometriosis. I actually didn't know that Wild had a product specifically for helping with endometriosis. This is a food grown, contains B5, contributes to the regulation of hormonal activity. But Wild Nutrition have a selection of products for various women's needs, whether you're breastfeeding, whether you um, are going through menopause, have endometriosis, everything from fertility to pregnancy and actually for every life stage they've got products for children, teenagers, adults everything you could possibly imagine and something which I found very very useful and that I think is incredible that Wild Nutrition offer sorry I haven't done anything with my hair this morning is a free 15 minute consultation with one of their nutritionists which I found so 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 valuable and that is how I actually learned that they have the endo complex but you can explain your lifestyle anything that you are wanting to boost whether it's your energy levels whether it is skin hair, nails, that kind of thing, and the nutritionist can recommend, not pushy in the slightest, recommend the products that might be perfect for your routine. I also spoke about my diet. I don't like fish, I don't eat any fish, so one of the things that's really important for me to take is the Pure Strength Omega-3. Now, the Wild Nutrition products, they do not contain anything synthetic, they use the cleanest whole food ingredients. All of the products within, um, all of the ingredients within the Wild Nutrition products are food sourced. So what that means is that the body already knows how to deal with them, how to digest them. Digestion issues is something else that Wild Nutrition do really well at with their um, vitamins. Henrietta Norton is the founder. She has over 20, over 20 years experience as a nutritionist. And she just couldn't find a brand that she wanted to recommend to her clients that used really good quality ingredients with none of this filler that you get in so many other brands. I have tried really expensive supplement brands in the past and I just kind of presumed because they had really gorgeous branding and were really expensive that they would be full of ingredients that were really good for me and only upon doing further research did I realize that actually it's not the case. So everything that I have read and heard from other people, from friends and from nutritionists about Wild Nutrition is so super positive. Um, what else can I tell you about them? They are a B Corp, they are plastic free. I'm going to be looking for a cute little uh, vitamin holder so that I don't have to unscrew all of these bottles every single morning. Um, so I do have products that I can take in the mornings and products that I can take in the evenings as well as my protein for my morning smoothies. I love that it's such a women's focused brand as well. Funny that I discovered it through Charlie, but they have a team of all women nutritionalists and obviously they've really thought about um, the things that women, the problems that women have or the improvements that supplements can bring to our lifestyle as I'm sure all of you guys watching this video, I know I'm not alone in feeling constantly busy and mentally and physically exhausted and I feel like those were signs to me that what I was getting from my food was just not necessarily enough for what my body needs in order to do its best. So I realize, I mean, I'm 30 now, um, as I've mentioned, you can use these products at any age, but now is when I really wanna focus on just making sure that my body has everything that it needs to function properly and function at its absolute best. If there are products that I can take to help me with my endometriosis as well, that's gonna be incredible for me and through different stages of my life, whether it is fertility, pregnancy, breastfeeding, menopause, <laughs> every, every, literally every single stage. And also based on my diet, I was recommended iron. So this is food grown iron for the reduction of tiredness and fatigue, 30 capsules food supplement. 
Some of these I take with food and some of them I don't need to take with food. I will leave Wild Nutrition and some of my favourite products linked down below. There are some really great multivitamins, but I would highly encourage you to take them up on their offer of the free 15 minutes nutrition, nutritionalist, <laughs> I don't know why I'm struggling with that word so much this morning, nutritionalist phone call. Um, but if you find that just too intense, I know sometimes I really don't like doing phone calls and you can also take a free, really quick and easy quiz online and that can just help you to discover which of these supplements might work for you, for your lifestyle. And then yes, you can use Josie25 on the links that I provide down below. You can also find the products in Harrods, Selfridges, um, Planet Organic, Whole Foods, and yeah, I'm excited to be telling you about Wild Nutrition. It, I'm still very early on in my journey with them, but I'm looking forward to keeping you guys updated with how I'm feeling, how I'm getting along with the products. The brand is obviously really focused on our overall health and well-being with products that are not full of rubbish ingredients, really nice, clean, natural, a lot of plant-based ingredients as well. So I hope you guys will check them out as well. I'm sure many of you have already tried them are already loving their products so let me know what your favorite products are down below if there's anything else that I should try from Wild Nutrition but I feel confident after my chat with a nutritionist that I've got a routine that's going to be really good for me and I'm under no illusion that suddenly I'm going to wake up tomorrow feeling like superwoman but these are the kind of routines you really need to stick with for a long period of time and I feel like I'm now fully invested in Wild Nutrition. I'm going to stick to this routine and hopefully feel the benefits before too long. So there we go. I thought I would update you on that. So I'm going to have a little look on Amazon to find a cute little vitamin holder so that I can just have everything in one neat place and I know what to take and when. I'm going to pop my hair in some heatless curls because I've got a lot of emails to catch up on, a lot of garden pottering to do, a little bit of greenhouse organisation to do. So let's get cracking. Is there a bunny in the bushes? <laughs> You're a funny boy. I've been hearing rustling in the bushes for the last 20 minutes. And I think I know why. Okay, my darlings, <laughs> as you can see, we've got fantastic curls on one side and just a nice bit of body <laughs> and movement on the other. Um, but you'll be tired of me saying this because I say it every single time, but with heatless curls, ooh, you've got nothing to lose. I've not used any heat on my hair today. And this side <laughs> looks great. I'm, I think this side may have been curled more tightly so every t every single time I do it I learn something new I pick up a tip but um, I've probably been sat out in the dappled shade under the umbrella just catching up with emails oh my gosh I've been catching up with emails <laughs> for about 9,000 hours today in all seriousness I've probably spent about four hours just trying to get on top of my inbox even though I was replying to emails while we were away, it was the like meaty ones that you need to sit down and like be properly at your laptop to respond to. I got a load of those done today and I'm still not even halfway through, but never mind, no complaining from me. I always feel very grateful to have this job. Yes, it's a lot more work than people initially think, um, but I'm very grateful that this is, this is my job and um, yes. So it is quarter past five now, and I've just done a little bit of a rummage for courgettes in the kitchen garden, um, but I'm gonna now go and do some proper gardening. There are quite a lot of overgrown um, veg 
flowers, a lot of overgrown things, loads more veg hidden away that I need to harvest. You may notice that I've switched dress, <laughs> very similar fabric, but this is the River Island dress. The one that I was wearing earlier was Faithful, and this one is a little bit more appropriate given that it's about 27 degrees today. I was not expecting it to be so hot. Just added a little bit of hairspray on that side. I mean, that doesn't look bad. That's quite a nice shape. It's just not a curl. But anyway, enough about heatless curls because that's very boring. Let's head out into the garden and I'm going to show you in daylight for the first time the green elves. <laughs> look absolutely gorgeous this afternoon everything is so abundant there is so much growing there's still some gaps where I pulled some bits out last week there's quite a lot of tidying for me to do but that's gonna be a nice job at this afternoon gosh the columns that is just the best decision that we made I think they look so sensational so if we go down here if you watched the vlog before we went away the strawberries that i planted at the end of last week they're starting to grow which is a good sign we've got a fantastic courgette harvest from today and we're going to be eating courgettes for every meal for the next week or so i'd imagine um, this is actually the yellow melon courgette but it's got ginormous we've got the ribbed ones the plain ones that almost looks like it could turn into a tromboncini some artichoke and I've had to snip some of the leaves because they're starting to take over my bean support, which is not ideal. Everything is just growing like absolute crazy. Also got some tomatoes here ready to harvest. Look at that. Very exciting. <laughs> one tomato, one sacred tomato. It really does make you appreciate every bit of homegrown produce. On Oh my gosh, the smell. Oh, that smells amazing. Yeah, it really makes you appreciate the produce um, when you've grown it yourself. So I'm far less likely to leave any tasty veg on my plate. Yeah, I definitely need to do some cutting back because there's loads of tomatoes in here, but they're completely overshadowed by the beans and the um, squash in there. Squashed by the squash. And I don't want all of these lovely little tomatoes to go to waste. So I've got lots of tidying I need to do. Give everything a really good feed. But first of all, let me show you the greenhouse. So I want to show you the view as you walk down from the house. Slowly, the greenhouse starts to come into view. Oh my gosh, it just looks so incredible so palatial here as you have the view down to the kitchen garden um this is the verbena that they had to take out from around the edge we didn't realize that they needed outside access it seems kind of obvious now looking back um but yeah we had to take that out not sure if we'll replant it actually because it's so tall um verbena is quite prolific so we've just moved some to the edge here and i think we'll plant some of that this afternoon but anyway back to the greenhouse so as you can see the structure is here against the abutting Cotswold stone wall. This beautiful, very, very light, we called it pistachio green. And actually, Hartley Botanic call them glass houses, not greenhouses. So maybe I need to try and get into the habit of calling it my glass house instead of my greenhouse. Although it is green, so <laughs> we'll see. One thing that um, we will be replacing actually is the door handle. I'm just not a fan of shiny, new-looking silver, so Charlie's found a lovely Jim, Jim Lawrence um, kind of antique brass door handle. So that's a little change that we're going to make, but it's got some really gorgeous detail, like the, what do you call it? It's almost like a cornice, cornice effect. Um, the beautiful detail up at the top there. And it just looks so stunning on top of this Cotswold stone wall. It really looks as though it's always been here, which is exactly the look that we wanted to achieve. Squeaky door. Okay, so I haven't had my 
time pottering about and um, tidying yet so that's what I'm going to do a little bit of this afternoon but how glorious excuse my tripod down there from my veg pickings there's a little bit of reflection going on here but can you see that view the view that I have got need to get a window cleaner in. <laughs> I think they just splashed it after the installation, but we need to give the windows a proper clean. Um, but yeah, this gorgeous view down to the kitchen garden. This is very exciting. My first ever time vlogging inside the greenhouse. You guys are gonna be coming in here with me a lot <laughs> moving forward. So you better get used to this, sur this surrounding and this background. It's pretty toasty in here at the moment, I'm not gonna lie. We do have these automatic opening windows up here. I think how it works is the windows are set in a kind of wax. Oh, there's a butterfly. I hope you can find your way out, little one. Mm. Um, yeah, I think the windows are set on a kind of wax and when it hits a certain temperature, the wax melts and the windows automatically open and then when it cools, they automatically shut, which is very, very clever and very helpful for circulation. I've got the door open at the moment. I'll probably find some kind of door stop or latch so that I can leave it open because that ventilation is gonna be very important for my little plants growing in here so they don't burn <laughs> in the warm temperatures. Weirdly, Charlie and I said this last night, it actually feels bigger now that the walls are on. It felt quite like a small footprint when it was just the little walls, but now that the glass is on, it feels bigger, which is really, really strange. And it feels so substantial. Like it really does feel like almost a conservatory or an extension to the house. So maybe I will get more use of this space down at Just Gardening. Maybe, who knows? I can definitely imagine on spring mornings when it's still a little bit chilly outside, coming with my coffee, my cup of tea, maybe bring my laptop in here, do a little bit of work. Who knows, who knows what I'll end up using this space for, but I do know that it won't be long until we have hundreds of little terracotta pots with seedlings in. So you'll have noticed, let me um, flip around. Ooh flip you around. You'll have noticed, obviously, it's still not completely finished. We've got, I think this is an electricity wire. There will be a light switch up on here. I haven't found the perfect lights yet. Obviously, it's not that important at this time of year because it stays light so late, but if I did want to use it in winter when it gets dark at 3 p.m., I'll definitely need a light. So that's what this wire is on the floor. And for drainage, we're getting gravel to go all the way around the edges. That's why there's that little gap there. So the gravel will hopefully come this week. And you may also be thinking, Josie, you don't have any worktops. Well, I think what I will do is bring this old um, wooden table in for now as a temporary measure. We've also got a trestle table in the garage, which I think I'll bring in. But as you may remember, the long-term plan is to bring um, is to create some shelving similar to the shelving in the Dalesford um, greenhouse at Dalesford Farm. It's called a living wooden edge. So it looks, in fact, I'll just pop a picture on the screen here. So this is essentially what's going to be happening on this wall, a really nice, big, deep, live edge wooden shelf there. There'll be Cotswold stone, well, technically Haunton stone plinths to support it. And then a shelf higher up supported by essentially little logs as well. I'm going to make a real feature of this wall adding, um, I'll probably end up adding some hooks so that I can hang my utensils up there. And I think we're going to have a living wood edge shelf on this wall here and potentially coming into an L shape. I think that would be the best thing to do. I definitely think I need to get a thermometer on the wall in here because it literally does actually feel like it's about 30 degrees in here. You may have spotted these dried alliums on the table. Um, it's actually a really good idea to pick these and you can hang them upside down if they haven't dried out already. And they can make for really beautiful decorations, perhaps at Christmas, you can spray them gold, for example. I might just store them in one of my leaking watering cans for now. It's actually too hot, I think, to do any proper organising in here at the moment. So what I think I'm going to do is line up all the bits just outside that I'm planning on bringing in here, the tables and bits and bobs, um, do a little bit more kitchen garden tidying, and then we'll get to work making this space beautiful and practical.
from my window Sun's coming up like the day before You're like a stone on my pillow I don't make a sound when I shut the door Your favorite music gone all the way baritone oh, yeah. Shut the lights, go in front of rain oh, We can spend all day in bed I get the wine and the corkscrew You don't have to do one single thing You don't know how much I want you just looking at you makes my whole world spin oh, You don't have to wake up yet oh, We can spend all day in bed I'll put the TV in the room We'll have a Netflix marathon KG saxophone We'll order in a bunch of food your favorite music gone all the way baritone Shut the lights, go in for red We can spend all day in bed Well, I'm looking a little bit wild and bedraggled, but I've done a couple of hours of tidying, harvesting, sweeping, plucking up of overgrown things down in the kitchen garden. It's now about, there are so many caterpillars. It is ridiculous. No wonder my brass, no wonder my brassicas can't survive. Everywhere I look, there are caterpillars. If any of you guys have any tips, um, other than netting, please let me know. I think next year, don't quote me on this, but I think I might give brassicas a miss next year because whether it's cabbages or kale or broccoli, sprouts they just tend to get eaten alive and don't stand a chance down here however things like peas beans squashes all do really well and i think you sometimes just have to embrace nature and grow what works well for you in your garden let me know what your pests are down below you guys can probably do brassicas perfectly but can't do squash so it's swings and roundabouts. Um, next year as well I also need to be a lot more careful and thorough with my support for my peas and mange too because quite frankly this is embarrassing. It's just completely collapsed with the weight of the mange too. In the seven or eight days since I was last down here there are so many. I've picked a big handful but there's quite a few which have really gone over these types of veg are really nice when they're fresh and young but um, yeah some of them are looking a little bit sad now. I thought that because I think I only planted like two or three mange too the rest of them didn't really take. I think I thought that I would be really what's the word deprived of mange too this year but quite the opposite there have been so many every time I harvest there are just handfuls and handfuls it's really quite messy down here, but you can see there's also some peas in with the mange too. Like when it gets this big, it's really not particularly tasty. It's a little bit tough. In fact, I might just leave some of these big ones on and then they will form seeds that I can collect and plant next year because we know that this particular variety loves it here in the garden. I think I'm gonna start packing up now, popping um, the bits that I have pulled up. A lot of my lettuce started to bolt and when it bolts, it just tastes a little bit bitter. So it's better to just pull it up and use the space for growing something else. Today is our green waste collection day. So this is all going to get composted. And let me give you a little pumpkin update. They are really starting to creep over onto the lawn, much to Charlie's <laughs> horror. Uh, but we have got loads of white ghost pumpkins. There's quite a few creeping through here. I think in future I'm gonna have to have a pumpkin patch. And can you see there's a really massive one through there? 
and have a bit of lawn dedicated to pumpkins instead of letting them take over my beds because they really are spilling out all over the place. There's a few more big white pumpkins in here, some small ones. I guess you could probably cut these and eat them now, but I'm half tempted to just let them get ginormous. that will be a lot of fun. The sweet peas have gone quite wild. I've picked a few vases full today. I did plant some seeds in that area before we went on holiday, so hopefully we'll get a few little seedlings coming through. And then this bed here really is just like a forest, a squash forest. It's a treasure hunt going in here to find the courgettes, but as you saw earlier, very, very fruitful. I did pull out a few of the leaves just to try and get a little bit more air circulation going on in here. And oh my goodness, the cut flower area also just overflowing. I did pick a load this morning. Oh, look how beautiful this is. Pluck. I believe this is a cupcake cosmos. It looks like a cupcake wrapper. That is beautiful. Probably my favorite type that we've got here. With Cosmos, you do want to pick them when they bloom and that encourages more blooms. So I'm gonna do one more flower cutting session for the evening and then we'll head inside. literally not shopped till I dropped, gardened until I dropped today. I am quite exhausted, ready for some food and ready for a bath. Look how tired I look. I look like a complete gardening zombie. It's not all glamorous despite the dresses. But we now have this little station, temporary station set up in the glass house. You may have seen I was just stringing up and feeding my tomatoes. I'm not sure if I'm going to need to put these in some slightly larger pots. And then we've got our old table here, um, just, as a, just again as a temporary measure until I get the shelves put in. So I've got a few of my little terracotta pots ready to be planted up with some autumn autumn veg seedlings, the verbena, some of the verbena is now in the entrance hall and then I popped some in this little terracotta vase here. It should dry out really nicely despite how warm it'll get in here. I've got some mange too and cavolo nero. I think we're gonna pop this in a stir fry this evening. A couple of little cosmos. And I'm not sure where I'm going to keep my little gardening bag. 
but I'm sure everything will soon find its place. I'm wondering if I should also maybe put a high up shelf along there just to make even more room for some more seedlings. Next spring it's going to be very busy in here. We've got a hydrangea, oh no, that's my bougainvillea, which is looking really good, really healthy now. Um, I need to research what kind of soil it likes and then get that planted up. And then a little hydrangea and my blueberry bush over there, excuse the water on the floor from the lemon tree. How are the lemons doing? Apparently these are lemons. I'm sure that they're limes, um, but we shall see. I definitely need to give it a little bit of a feeding. This was actually a housewarming gift for us two years ago when we moved in from some family friends. So it's great that it's finally got a home. Okay, I think I'm gonna shut up shop now for the evening, not forgetting my loot and make some dinner. <laughs> 